down to the title. We know Jay's got four Olympia titles. Sonner's got a bunch of them. Uh, Ronnie Coleman, Lee Haney. There's a lot of multiple Olympia winners. When they get it, it's hard to lose it. Uh, Phil Heath is going for a record tying number eight this uh, September. But I think the men's classic physique was going to be a slippier one to hold on to because of the depth of, of the field and the diversity of the body types. I mean, Reagan, I believe, is like six feet tall. Danny on a good day is about five foot four, five five, depending on what shoes he's wearing. But you got a lot of depth in that division, and it's a title that even though Danny won it and lost it, the, the guys that he lost to were, those guys are pretty much gonna be battling it out again. You're still in the hunt. Some guys lose the title, they never get another bite at the apple. We're talking about that with Jay. Jay's the only guy to lose the Olympia after winning it and regain it. Danny, you're on that mission this year. You got eight weeks to do it. You're gonna have to go through the young buck uh, and Reagan. But tell us what that did to you because you were kind of at a crossroads when this classic physique was developed. And then you came out the first time and you won it. It's almost like you got another bite at the apple in terms of your career. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, I've been in the scene for a very long time. I've been very blessed to have the big contracts with Leader, Matterx, EAS, all the major companies back in the late 80s, early 90s. And I wasn't even a pro. You know, I was doing what a lot of these guys are doing now on social media, not even competing, but being able to be an ambassador to the fitness industry. And so I was very fortunate. But I was always in the mix, you know, and I, I really held true to how I was creating my physique. Because I knew it was a long game. For me, it was the, the long game. It wasn't about getting there really fast, even though all my friends, you know, uh, and peers I would train with in Gold's Venice uh, were superstars. And for me, that helped a lot, but I didn't like a, a lot of the things that they were doing to get there. I knew it was kind of short-sighted. Um, and I would always study my physique and their physiques, and I knew the potential I had uh, uh, I could do it, but I didn't want to be, uh, how would you say, like a, uh, a flame that burns out really fast. You know, the, the guys like LeBron and a lot of these other guys, even Sean, you know, you can stay in the game and, and still look good and retire when you look good. You know, not trying to keep pushing it like a, you know, a lot of guys that just, you know, the question for me is, is when do you think, how long are you going to do it? And I say, as long as I still am healthy, I'm passionate and, 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 and uh, excited about it, and I'm making improvements, then I'll keep going. You know, if any one of those start to deteriorate, then I'm going to hang it up and support, you know, the division that I was honored to be the first ever Mr. Classic, uh, Mr. Olympia. And I, I, I love when guys like Regan come in, and, and I, I was like ecstatic when he made the weight division. I was like, wow. That is so cool because it only promotes, you know, uh, uh, the platform that I was given. I feel like I'm the ambassador since I was the first one. So I want our division to be the strongest. You know, I, I want guy to drop down to, to, to classic and you know all the all the top guys. And it's it only it only secures that division. You know, I don't want this division. I think it's a it's a really great concept and it's something that should have been done a while ago. You know, I think they could give us a little bit more weight. You know, I think that's this is what they were trying to look for when they created the 212s and the and the men's physique. Because you have to have a certain ratio and you're gonna get a certain look pretty much. You know, and the thing about classic, there's a lot of different types of classic. There's not just one classic, you know, it's different body types. Frank Zane was classic. Uh, Sean was classic, but they're totally different physiques. You know, it just depends on what error and what your your how much you match up to a certain plastic look. You know, of a certain era, and so I think it's proper that they do change hands a lot more because I think that's only the 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 logical thing to do because there's so many types of classic physiques out there. You know, and so. Like when, when Regan talks about, you know, doing the classic, I think it was the best move ever because now he could, instead of growing, which I think is a big mistake, he can now refine because he's got definitely enough size, so he could refine his physique. And as soon as he gets refined enough and maintains it, it's going to give him so much more longevity, and then he could move up and transition. A lot of times, guys try to move way too quick, and it's not healthy. And the problem is that you're not growing evenly. And, 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 and it, the only thing is that, you know, maybe your midsection 
starts to grow too. So by, I think by him holding on to a certain division, refining everything, and then moving on and growing, he's gonna have a lot of longevity. His physique's gonna be so much more refined and, and, uh, and just be able to be competitive much longer and healthier too. Yeah, what you'll find in the comments